In today's video, I'm going to be doing the synthesis of cyclopentanone from the decarboxylation of adipic acid. Cyclopentanone has uses as a chemical building block for a variety of organic compounds. For my application, I plan to use it as the starting material for making cubane 14 dicarboxylic acid. For the synthesis, I'm going to use 500 grams of adipic acid along with 18 grams of barium hydroxide. Both of these powders are transferred to a large beaker. They are then mixed together. The mixture is transferred to a 1 liter flask. I then set up a short path distillation, but a normal distillation set could also be used. The heating mantle is turned on and I insulated the column to prevent the reflux of water. Soon, the adipic acid starts to melt. and the whole mixture melts after some time. Followed by a steady rolling boil. Vapors of cyclopentanone condenses and drips into the receiving flask. In the first step of the reaction, adipic acid is deprotonated by barium hydroxide to form barium adipate and water. At a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius, the barium adipate decomposes into cyclopentanone and barium carbonate. The cyclopentanone boils off and is collected at the receiving flask, while the barium carbonate stays in the 1 liter flask. Once there is little to no adipic acid left in the flask, heating was turned off and everything was allowed to cool back down to room temperature. An arbitrary amount of potassium carbonate is added to the crude cyclopentanone. This will remove most of the water in the cyclopentanone and also neutralize any adipic acid that might have came over. I then filtered the crude cyclopentanone and transferred it into a separatory funnel. The bottom water layer is then drained off. D 
the top organic layer is strained off into a 250ml flask. A fractional distillation set is then set up. The flask is heated and the cyclopentanone started to boil and vapors traveled up the fractionating column. At this stage, the first fraction to come over is an azeotrope of cyclopentanone and water at around 96 degrees Celsius. The second fraction to come over is the pure cyclopentanone at 125 degrees Celsius. I swapped out the flask the moment it comes over. To make the cyclopentanone come over faster, I insulated the fractionating column which greatly increases the collection rate of distillate. When there was barely any liquid left in the 250ml flask, I turned off the heating mantle and let everything cool. The mass of the collected cyclopentanone was then measured. The yield came out to be lower than expected at 42.58%. From what I can think of, I stopped the dry distillation of the adipic acid too early which pretty significantly lowered the yield. Although it is a bit disappointing, I already made enough cyclopentanone for the next step which will be making cyclopentanone ethylene ketal. I do plan on making a video on the synthesis of cyclopentanone ethylene ketal, so subscribe to the channel to not miss it. Thanks for watching.